Amigos y amigas, welcome back to my channel. My name is Takran, and today I'm bringing you not a gameplay, not a playthrough, but my ugly mug in this polywag hat. So, thumbs up for that. And yeah, that's pretty much the video. So, you can just look at me wearing this um, polywag hat for the rest of the video. I'm just kidding guys, we're actually playing one shot of it. So we're like on episode 9 right now I think. It's been a little bit under a week, maybe like 5 days since I've played this game. I really wanted to play it, and if I wasn't doing this for a playthrough I would have played this by myself, but um, conditions for recording this have not been ideal. I haven't had, um, like I haven't just been able to sit down and record this. But, today, the case is different. I can record this, and we shall continue our journey. Anyway, guys, I have a polywag in my head, so you need to leave a thumbs up for that. If you want to. Um, what's your guys' favorite Pokemon? Mine is not actually uh, polywag, it's actually Politoed. But polywag is cuter than a Politoed. And I could... I couldn't find a Politoed hat, so that's what I, you know, you gotta make compromises. Anyways, um, I forgot, I forgot how her voice sounded. Like Nico, um, I don't remember. We'll figure it out, guys. We'll figure it out. Like I said, it's been five days since I played this game, so I, I don't know uh, what kind of voice I gave her, but we'll figure it out. Alright, Nico, I'm back. Hey, Tancred. Welcome back. I think that's the voice I gave her. Close enough. Okay, so we were in the city. Anyways, guys, I forgot to recap. Um, last time, we made it to the ground level of the, um, the city, right? The refuge, as it's called. We made it to the ground level. Uh, we explore, explored a little bit. We looked in like 500 trash cans, found nothing. And what did we do after that? Uh, oh yeah, we found a tree with a fox. So I don't know what that's about, but we'll find out soon enough, I think. And yeah, yeah, yeah. we're looking for the library, I believe. That's the next objective. Um, someone told us to go to the library. So yeah, that's what we're doing right now. I'm digging this, this music, man. I've been listening to this one-shot soundtracks like every day. Like that's all I'm listening to right now. Well, not really, but you know what I mean. Are you here for your photos? No? Alrighty then. I'll just uh, stand here. Hmm, interesting. Thank you for letting me. Uh, what is this? Oh, photo. It's like a photo studio. It didn't do anything. Yeah, it didn't do anything. Anyways, uh, one of the reasons I'm wearing this polywag hat is because I'm in the, the Pokemon y spirit. I've been playing uh, Pokemon Ultra, Ultra Sun. I got back into that after taking a break. Um, Hey, hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Pfft. As if. What are you gonna do that's gonna blow my mind, huh? Okay, so... I've invented a medicine to, pre to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is solve one of these pills in water. And then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again! What? That's some... That's some dark magic right there. Some sorcery stuff. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here. Why don't you take a free sample? Oh? Thanks? Don't thank me. Go spread the word. Oh. oh, oh. So this is, is this thing for real? Water pill? I can't combine those. Wait, 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 wait. Water pill and tube of water. 
I think I'm gonna combine these. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a hunch and say that these have to be combined. So put the pill in the water? It dissolved really fast. Okay, so now we got this medicated water. So we're prepared for the apocalypse, guys. We're ready. We are 100 percent prepared. Okay, what were we what were we doing? Oh yeah, let's just explore. Um, we gotta find a library, that's for sure. Anyways, uh, let's see. This smells kinda nice. What is it? Breaded fish. I toasted the bread myself. I see. Why is, she, why is Nico so surprised about that? Breaded, fi breaded fish is good, man. What are you selling? Hey, kid! I'm giving all of the, uh, the guys with, uh, heads, with an inanimate objects as heads the same voice. Want some soup dumplings? They're guaranteed to contain only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. Whoa, isn't that nice? I'll pass. Only a minimal amount of industrial byproducts. Hey, it's our dude. Oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yep! What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's taking a while. I think it might be leaking. Hmm, leaking lamp. That's not good. This one seems taller than the others. Yeah, it is taller. What's up with that? Okay, what was I doing? Um. Oh, what's here? Oh, did I go in here? I don't think I did. Depressing music, man. I'm gonna turn off the brightness of my monitor. Let's see. Perfect. I know you guys didn't see that change, but it happened. Just believe me. I did it. Tree. Tree of life. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just gonna run around a little bit. More than usual, because I forget where I am in this game. Anyways, guys, as I was saying, I think I already went in here. As I was saying, I've been playing Ultra Sun. Yeah, Ultra Sun. I usually play the blue game just for personal reasons, because I like the color blue. That's literally my only reason. I've always liked blue. Uh, when I was a kid, it was Blue Ranger, man. Like, when we picked our roles in the playground, everyone wanted the... The Black Ranger, because he was super cool. I wanted the Blue Ranger. I was that guy. Yeah, so anyways, I've been playing Ultra Sun, and of course, I'm doing a water lock. Which is, um... Well, not, not a water lock, but I'm doing a playthrough of just water Pokemon. Um... So yeah, right now on my team, I think I have... I have like some weird Pokemon that no one knows. Like no one plays, no one in their right mind uses these Pokemon in a playthrough. It's like Basculin, Psyduck. Um, okay, can we enter now? We we were here before, but we couldn't enter. I this is the library, I think. Wait, I we couldn't enter before, right? I don't think we could. Ooh, the music changed. A door. Locked. Why are you locked, door? In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. The uh huh? You must change the color of lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Ah, those lights. Okay. What is the configuration, my dude? X is nine. Okay. 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 One light break. Oh, sweet. Okay, so I just gotta do this. It's 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 a um it's I, it's just trial and error, man. Like this easy. I just gotta keep on changing them until they're all correct. Yeah, it's just trial and error. I'll eventually get there. <laughs> it's gonna be a while, but I'll get there. One light correct? Are you kidding me? Okay. Zero. Okay, I just—it's just trial and error, trial and error. 
Oh, perfect. Two lights. What? Oh my god. I hope it doesn't change every time. Like, that would be pretty annoying. Zero lights, correct? It does change every time. Are you kidding me? Okay. Okay, so this is a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. Oh my. Oh, I get seven tries. I'm gonna reset it. Let's see. So we have blue, green. Let's try that. One, one strike. Oh my god. Zero lights correct. What? I just had one correct. I'm gonna restart this. Because I'm gonna get this wrong. Okay. Intruder detector resetting lock mechanism. Oh my god. Time to start over. Yeah. Blue. Blue. Wait, what? You're correct? You're correct. Which ones are correct though? Like, how do I tell? Which ones are correct? Let's try this. One's correct. Uh, so, one of the ones I changed was already correct. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna make a cut, I think. Uh, no, I'll, I'll keep on recording. I, I said I was gonna keep on recording, like... I know that's kind of boring, but we can do this, guys. We can do this. Um, one, one was already correct. Okay, two lights are correct now. So the blue one I already had correct. I think. Two lights are correct. Okay. One light is correct. Are you kidding me? Two lights are correct. Dude, <laughs> I'm gonna flip out, man. I gotta restart this. I think I can do it this time for real. Alright, how many are correct? Two lights are correct. But I don't know which one they are. Which ones are correct, man? Three lights are correct. Okay. So, this blue one is correct. Two are correct. Okay, so this one was already correct. Okay, so that one was already correct as well. Okay, I'm getting this, I'm getting this, I'm getting this. So these two are the ones that are bad. See, I'm not the most logical person, like, I'm so bad at math. I am terrible at math. But I'm pretty good at puzzles, like, I, I could do the Rubik's Cube and like, in like a minute, back in high school, back in my prime, prime days of uh, Rubik's cubing, I could do it like in a minute, and everyone was like, wow, this kid's super smart, nah, nah, I'm just doing the Rubik's cube, man, like, that, that doesn't mean you're smart, it's just, uh, memorization of patterns, that's literally all it is, I'm not solving the cube on the spot, I'm just memorizing uh, patterns and doing them over and over again, that's all I'm doing. The luminescence index of liquid red phosphor decreased by a factor of 3.57 this past week. Alarming to say the least, that's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We will have to further concentrate the phosphor now for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light in as little as six months. What are we going to do? Man, that's pretty scary. Like, what are they gonna do without light? Robot! It's a, it's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. Blah, 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 blah. Sorry, guys. It may help you to go one color at a time management. Yeah, I already solved your puzzle, man. It was easy, easy peasy. It can only help to write down previous attempts. Uh, it doesn't help because it changes every time. If all else fails, wait for a puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Beep boop. This is the printer room where machine parts are made. Beep boop. Also robots. Beep. 
Hmm. Robots are born there. Like, that's where all robots come from. Oh my goodness gracious, what is going on over there? This place reminds me of, um, that one map in Undertale, where it's like lava, and there's some kicking music playing in the background. This one has a little bit less than kicking music, but it's still good. I like it. It's nice and mellow. It sets, it sets the tone. My robot! What happened? I don't know! I left for a minute, and... Dang, yo, that robot got infected by a virus. By squares. Square virus. Those squares again. Yeah, what's up with those squares? And why is this place locked up? Like, what, what's so important that they need to put a security lock in front of this place? We will find out right now. Bunch of scientist looking dudes. What's up, my dude? These, ro these robots are malfunctioning function at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle an anomalies is almost impossible to revert. Blah, 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 revert. I'm sorry, guys. I need some water. Like, my mouth is super dry and I can barely speak. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay. That's pretty terrible. Like, why are they targeting robots? I cannot stop spinning. I cannot stop spinning. What is wrong with it? This is so tedious. I missed the good old days before our robot repair robots broke down. So there were robots that repaired other robots. But what repaired those robots? Was it other robot repairing robots? This is an endless cycle of repairing ro robots, repairing robots. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But, aren't you a robot? Yeah, dude, you have a robot head. No? I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really, but your head is a TV. What? What does that have to do with anything? Dude, your head's a TV. Like, you're a robot. That's a robot if I've ever seen one. These people have some weird heads, but apparently they're human, right? What's up with this room, man? It looks important. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector H of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not a good at all. Hmm. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting. Hey, that was Silver. Silver Point. Just reported another sighting of particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. Yeah, I saw those particles. Ugh, These squ those squares particles just took out two of my robots in the glen. We might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Oh, so they sent robots all over the place to do their work, that's pretty cool. And then they just monitored them in this room. Monitoring, monitoring, yeah exactly, monitoring robots to do your dirty work. Humans. Oh, it's Mughead! It's Cuphead! Hmm. I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. She was a doctor. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all the all that energy? She's a robot! That's how she gets that energy. Like she has a fuel pack or whatever. None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. Square particles took out a few of my robots last week and 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 what? She fell asleep. Standing up. Wow, she has some skills. Like, I can also do that. Whenever we go to church, it's like... I, I can fall asleep instantly. Whoa, new person. Hello? Oh, shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the system. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Yeah, it was easy. We figured it out. Tad could help me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Yeah, where's the library? The library? That's all the way on the other side of town. The fastest route is where you take the shortcut. The back alley, but... I think that's how we got here, actually. Oh, good. 
You should head back to that direction and walk to the east a bit. You'll find it eventually. East, east, okay. Thank you! Wait, wait, okay, so east. Mm. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, all I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world, I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate grants. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Sometimes we all thought he, he we all thought it was not physically possible. Oh, that's. Yeah, that's the dude they were talking about. I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Maybe maybe it was Silverpoint's boyfriend. Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Ah, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with bu his books now. Yeah. Have we ever met this dude? How are you gonna meet him? It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Why did why did it have glitter glue? That's like some kindergarten arts and crafts supplies right there. Thank you. Okay, so they said east, right? Hey, Tadcrap, doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see what happens. She does kind of look like this. Like, they both have red hair. Maybe she was her builder. Oh? That's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. Sigh. Oh, it's Silver Point music, man. I love this music. It's kind of sad, though. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, so I know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person. Thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But turns out you can't really build something like that. Hmm. Interesting. Too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life. Tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real light, a real miracle worker that, after he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she, real she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. That's pretty sad. Okay, east. We're going east, right? So that robot was created by these people. And, like, it, it was out of her control. But she went rogue, and I suppose she attacked people. And then she was exiled for that. Like, that was out of her control. She's a robot, man. She's just doing what her programming says, and her programming was faulty. Because these guys tried to do something that was almost impossible. And then she was exiled. Hmm. That doesn't seem too fair. We're going east, I think, right? We went in there. Anyways, guys, 
Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, demon goat, demon cultist in there. Yeah, what is up with that? With that ram that was acting like a demon, like is is that gonna be a major part of the game? Whoa! Okay. It's strangely it's strangely warm in this room. Yeah, there's a furnace. With cats. Is that a person? That is a person. Oh, a cat. Are you lost? I'm not a cat. I'm a I'm a human. Me? Do you wish to join us? Join your cats? Yes. But I'm not a cat. I don't walk on four legs like they do. You have cat eyes. My eyes are no more people eyes. Well, normal back home. Your head shaped like a cat. But I'm just a person. You're so welcome here. I protect lost people as well. Thanks, but I'm not lost though. I am pretty lost. <laughs> I've got cat to guide. Oh, about that. Uh, okay, I, I will. I'll guide you. But who's gonna guide me? My instincts. That's all. I'm, that's all I have right now. Just my instincts, and my instincts are as sharp as a butcher knife. Yeah, that's a good comparison. Okay, so we went that way. There's, there was nothing. They told us to go east, 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 east. East? I thought you said weast. Classic, classic SpongeBob quote right there. Okay, I think we're going the right way now. The door over there was locked, I think, right? So we can't go through that. Um. Yeah, I think it's locked. Yeah, it's locked from the inside. Um. We didn't get so much done, but we jumped back into this game and. We're feeling our way through again. Like I, I forgot what what I was doing um, this episode, so I kind of just ran around. And I'm sorry for that, guys. But I think I'm gonna cut it off here. Yeah, we'll pick up here next episode. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, subscribe. Um, take it easy, guys. I will see you later. Peace.